immediately when I got home from Chicago, I wanted to, of course, share all my pictures and video with my friends and family on Facebook. And uh, I uploaded everything to a photo album on Facebook and a few videos also. And I also provided links to several news sources from Chicago. The Chicago Sun, the Chicago Herald, the Chicago Tribune, and RT News. And within a day, my entire photo gallery was deleted by Facebook. All the videos I uploaded were deleted, including all the links that I provided to news sources that were covering the event. It was a clear uh, censorship campaign going on to uh, stifle our ability to um, be our own news and uh, get, you know, report accurately by first-hand account. Okay. My name is Richard Yannick. Uh, me and my comrade Jake here decided to uh, drive out to Chicago. Last week was the last weekend. Last weekend to uh, take part in the uh, NATO G8 summit protest. We got in. We got into Chicago Saturday night, and um, the first thing that we noticed was there were about 15 to 20 riot police officers, riot gear police, with uh, solid hickory or solid oak uh, sticks standing around just about every single street corner, and uh, we could tell that we were seriously outnumbered. As far as police to protesters, it was about maybe three to one. Um, the police were, for the most part, extremely rude to pedestrians, um, even who weren't protesting. Um, I was walking around taking pictures, and I received several derogatory comments from them. Um, the next day, we, we rallied up at the park. And about, I would say, 100,000 people came through. We, uh, the media has downplayed that very much, the, the actual numbers. And from there, we uh, took to the march, which was great. It was amazing. I mean, there was a lot of uh, good energy. A lot of people, a lot of different groups coming together. I mean, I felt pretty, we felt pretty united and uh, for our cause. It was very peaceful. I didn't see any problems in behavior as far as on the protesters whatsoever. We marched just all day long and uh, it was a good maybe three mile march. Um, when we, we got to a point where it came to a standstill and we were, everyone was just listening to um, the veterans giving their speeches and uh, at one point I looked behind me and uh, noticed that the front line, the front phalanx line of riot police was at the intersection right, right behind us. And um, a lot of people were kind of in disbelief that, uh, that they were going to do anything. And the very minute the permit expired, they came running up on us uh, we, and we had nowhere to go. Uh, we were fenced in on both sides. There was fencing blocking the sidewalks. And so um, we had to climb over the fence in a, in a panic rush to get out of their way. They occupied the street pretty heavily. Um, there were thousands, thousands of riot police. Um, and we kind of just stood there peacefully on the sidewalk observing what was going on and then the fire department moved in and uh, they were standing there and then dropped to their knees in a panic, rushed into their backpacks, ripped out the gas masks and put those on and uh, they had big giant tanks of, of what I believe to be tear gas and which they did spray on us. They, not at anybody directly, just putting it into the air. It was a good amount. Uh, I put on my military grade gas mask to protect myself. Um, 
and about a block in front of us, there were people who decided that they were going to create a human blockade to protect the other people who were stand, still standing around in front of them because the police just rushed in without a warning. And uh, those people were severely injured. Um, they were jabbed. Not, they weren't swung at with the batons. They were jabbed, you know, like that. Um, right in the face, mostly. A lot of people I saw with missing teeth. And uh, we noticed that they specifically targeted young females. Um, we saw several younger, smaller, built females being dragged out by um, street medics with crushed skulls and just their entire face and head was covered in blood. Um, and I would have to say that it was, it was indeed the Illinois State Police who started the violence because up until that moment it was a peace protest and I don't, I can't imagine why people protesting for peace would want to start violence. It's kind of against what we're doing and uh, they, they instigated this whole thing. They, um, it was uncalled for, it was completely unnecessary. Um, and it was, it, was like bull, it was like bulls on parade. They just came rushing in and started swinging and jabbing without asking questions or without making any demands for people to move or to disperse and then maybe 15 minutes later there was an announcement over a PA system that we are to disperse immediately and we are to disperse west. If we do not disperse immediately, uh, we will be subject to physical removal, which may include being violently uh, struck in, which may include serious injury, and also may include less than lethal weapons being deployed, or something along those lines, which is the announcement was made. While the announcement was being made to disperse west, I asked several officers, which way is west? With absolutely no reply. The next day, after all that, uh, we organized we organized a, a, a march without a permit, illegally an illegal march, I guess you would say, and um, we rallied in a park beforehand and made plans of how and what we were going to do. We were going to march to Boeing and shut down Boeing, which uh, they had already heard about what we were doing and shut themselves down. Um, as we began the march, we immediately took the street and um, Chicago police officers were there promptly escorting us. Even though we did not have a permit, they were on both sides in single file and trench coats. And uh, we eventually got to a point where there was a blockade in the street with officers with bikes and um, a few layers deep of uh, riot police and we marched right up to the line and sought out the ch uh, chief or a captain who was wearing a, a white shirt and uh, we told we we tried to reason with the officer saying you know please comply with us and we'll comply with you be reasonable with us we'll be reasonable um, work with us, we'll work with you, etc., and to please disperse so that we can continue our march. And we want to, we made it very clear that we wanted to go right through their blockade where they were and that we didn't want any violence and we didn't want any trouble. Surprisingly, um, he got on his walkie talkie and made the call for them to disperse, and they did. And uh, we continued the march illegally without a permit all the way to Boeing. Uh, Boeing was shut down. Um, we did a die-in right there on the street which was pretty fun. People, we all like dropped dead after a few people pretended to be drones that are manufactured by Boeing. Uh, chalk outlines were made on the street um, and then we rose up and had a party with uh, glitter and silly string and whatnot. 
And then we continued our march to a Chase Bank, and where we uh, sit, we all sat down in front of Chase Bank, and uh, people spoke about being evicted from their homes fraudulently because of Chase Bank. Um, and then we made our way to uh, Obama's uh, campaign headquarters, where we were met by the Illinois State Police in full riot gear. Um, when we got there, we marched right to the front line of the Illinois State Police, and then all sat down Indian style. We had the attention of the media, and uh, we all sat down Indian style so that it would be very clear if uh, violence were to break out, exactly who was uh, the offensive, who was the instigator in the situation. I, on that day, there was not, during our illegal march without a permit, there was not a single arrest and there was not a single injury that day. The permitted march was that was supposed to be family friendly uh, was completely legal. And, it, it, and we shouldn't even need a permit in the first place because it's within our civil liberties to do so. But it, it ended up not being family friendly. It, was, it ended very violently. It was a, literally a bloodbath.